Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying seven keto, uh, the ratio keto friendly. Uh, these are a dairy snack, is what it says. Dairy snack. So we we have the vanilla, the strawberry, the blueberry, mixed berry, uh, black cherry, coconut, and mango. And these were, uh, we found them at Meyer. They were a dollar forty-five each, which is real cheap. And Scott, uh, Scott sent me a message on Instagram, and he said, "You have to try the vanilla." Now that's the only one he recommended to me. I'm the one that bought the rest, so the the rest do not come recommended by Scott. But he said that vanilla is so good that you have to try it. It's delicious. And then somebody saw these in the grocery haul and she said, my mother was on keto and she was buying those. And she loved them so much that now she's not on keto anymore, but she's still buying them because oh, she really? likes them. So, yeah. So are these not, I'm looking, there's just written so small I can't read it. These aren't yogurt with like active cultures or any of that stuff. It is, um, it says, at Ratio, we know making daily food choices can be a tricky equation. That's why we've done the math for you so you can spend less time oh, reading goodness. labels and more time living with a focus on carefully selected ingredients. Ratio strikes a unique combination of fat, carbs, protein, and sugars to keep you going. They are, um, um, it says, a dairy snack. Mine says contains live and active cultures. Yeah, this is pasteurized, ultra, fi ultra filtered, non fat milk, um, milk fat, uh, high oleic sunflower and or avocado oil, natural flavor. Do you see that it says contains live and active Distributed, cultures? yes, distributed by General, General Mills. Mills in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So it is yogurt, it's just not contains live and active cultures, gluten-free, keep refrigerated, general meals. I have to um, my eyes just the right way to see it. <laughs> always consult your physician before starting an eating plan that involves the regular consumption of high fat foods. It does not say yogurt. I'm not going to call it yogurt. No, if you call they, it yogurt, somebody, either. no, and they made sure they didn't say yogurt. Yeah. I'm just saying it does say it has live and active culture. So just yeah. to let you know, it does have something like yogurt in it. But they're calling, but they're it, not calling it a yogurt. dairy snack. So this is the vanilla. These are keto, they're not low calorie. So for, for someone like us, who likes to keep track of their calories, this is not something yeah, I can buy. We're not watching buy. carbs or anything. No, like I cannot buy these. I have to buy something low calorie. So this, it will be really fun to try, but something I'll never buy again. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, because ours are like, Mine are 80. 60 or 80 calories. Dana right? Light and Fit is 80 calories. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, it's wonderful. And so that's what I like. Yeah. Um, so this is 200 calories. Mm -hmm. 200 calories for the container. And uh, yeah, there's just, I, I absolutely can't do that. But I'm guessing you can't have the Dana Light and Fit. Exactly. So you would eat this instead. Well, I'm wondering, you know what? I have something little in there. We, oh, should, we should compare it. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, but I don't know how to calculate net carbs. And uh, that's how they do. They do net carbs, not just Because I was going to say, I could get it out and look and see the carbs. Carbs that the Dana Light Fit has versus the carbs yeah, in this. Yeah, but it wouldn't go net carbs. You have to subtract out fiber and carbs, fiber and all that stuff. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so here we go. If you're not on it, you don't know how to calculate it. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. It looks good and creamy. It's very thick. Mm -hmm. And that's what that person said too, that their mom likes it and it's thick. It that's one of the things I liked about the Dan Light and Fit, is it always had that I like, thickness. yeah, that's thicker though than Dan Light You know what that tastes like? I, yes, I do. Milk and magnesium. Oh. <laughs> you know that white powdery stuff, that chalky kind of stuff you drink when you got a sick stomach? I've never had Milk that and magnesium. in my life. That's what that tastes like. I've never had a... Just like it. Really? I think it tastes like frosting. It tastes just like, it tastes like my memory of what milk and magnesia tastes like. Let's put it that way. When did you have milk and magnesia? When you get your upset tummy. What, when you were a kid yeah, or something? Yeah, when I was younger. But as an adult, have you had that? No. Had so is it for kids? No, not necessarily. <laughs> so it's, it's. I, just, I don't want that nasty ass flavor. <laughs> 
as an adult. <laughs> so your mama talked you into it. You yeah. didn't choose to take it. It actually tastes better than that, but I'm saying it reminds me of that flavor. It's got a very, um, very artificial vanilla flavor. But it's I think good. it tastes like to me it tastes like vanilla cake frosting. Now yeah. it's not as sweet, of it's, course. It's got a different flavor to it than but regular I, cake frosting. But yeah. I like it. I think it tastes good. It's good. I'll, yeah. I like it too. I'm gonna eat it. Okay, this is the strawberry. But I'm left with a coating in my mouth. Same calories for the strawberry. So when you were a little kid and you would say, Mom, my stomach hurts, she oh, would it was say that or the um, what's the pink stuff they give you? I don't know. Oh, Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol. You gave that, your mom gave you that as a kid? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I don't remember ever giving Ada or any, ever, Ashley they anything with stuff. an upset stomach. They had, they had our better things when, we, when our kids were kids. I, you know, I just don't remember ever giving them anything. Ada had an upset stomach and we just told him to go lay down or something. His was school induced though. I don't remember giving him anything. He had an upset stomach from school. Oh, that's nice. You don't like it. They all have this funky texture. <laughs> I, now, I'm much more sensitive to texture stuff than Tammy is. I'm just what saying. What is what texture are you getting? Because to very, me, it's very thick and creamy. It's very thick, but it's not creamy to me. It's very flat, and it just like sets your mouth and it coats the entire roof of your mouth and your tongue. I like you're do, drinking buttermilk or something. I do think it has a drying effect. Maybe that's just what it is. Maybe that's what it is. I, just, it dries my mouth out. Yes, really I do think this. you're going to want to drink after these, and it doesn't seem like that, but I mean, it does have a drying effect. Yeah, um, that's I, what I'm getting more than anything. It's just coating my mouth, and it's drying it out really bad. I like the strawberry. The flavor's good. I like the flavor. I think the flavor's nice. It does taste like strawberry. It's not like candy strawberry. It's more natural than that. It's not um, tart or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just a really nice, pleasant strawberry flavor. It's just strawberry. It doesn't taste like you've eaten a fresh strawberry. Though. Right. It's not quite like that. Right. But it's strawberry. I don't see anything bad about it. This mm -hmm. is, uh, I guess these all are going to be 200 calories. This is blueberry. Like I said, I like the flavor. I just don't like that that mouthfeel. Now, I do not like that at all. Oh, gosh. Wow. Mm, tastes like paint. Mm. Gosh, that's painful. That's awful. That is disgusting. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, that is, it's strong and gosh. It's like they scraped the peels and just put the peels in there. Um, it is. It's not good. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It's, so clearly, um, blueberry needs some sweetness. Gosh, it. Um, it doesn't taste like fresh blueberries, actually, so. No, it doesn't. It's a very, very uh, strong and uh, yes, but it's I like. It's still dry my mouth up awful though. It's bitter. There's a bitterness to it, but it's strong and uh, it's, no, it's almost earthy. Yeah. Um, I don't like that at all. Mm, Gosh, no. that's terrible. Um, that this, vanilla was almost that bad for me. This is mixed. <laughs> Guess what? This has blueberry in it. This has strawberry, raspberry, and blueberry. Maybe the raspberry will be stronger. Uh, raspberry is usually pretty hope strong. So you got to be careful though, because they you do, they some liquid you need to stir these. Gosh, they, you they can have tell it's blueberry. It's just a nasty blueberry. It's not good no, I'm hoping I don't get all that blueberry in this one. Ugh. It looks kind of pink. Mm, okay. That's mostly raspberry. Mostly raspberry. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't, honestly, you wouldn't even say no. mixed berry. You get a little bit of that funky blueberry in there. Really? I've got all raspberry. Mm, like yeah, I'm glad too. Uh, yeah, I would not have known that they, unless, you know, I read the, the title, I wouldn't have known that there was mixed. I would just think that it was just raspberry. Um, I actually don't mind that at all. You don't like it. No. It still is very like drying. Like it's it like, sucked all the moisture like out of my mouth. Paste your mouth together. I mean, that's. This is black cherry. Well, you know what? It's a good thing that we don't like these because we we'll, we can't eat them anyway because there are too many calories. Yeah. So this is this is your one chance to get to try them. And you're gonna be like, I remember those. Yeah. 
I'm glad I'm not on keto. <laughs> and those keto people can keep it. Okay, Black Cherry. Yeah, I'm, uh, truthfully, keto would never be on a diet because there's just not enough things I like that are keto. Can't live on pork rinds. Um, and bacon. Some people would probably say, yes, you can live you on can bacon. Live, you can live on bacon for a little while, but for trust while. me, you get sick of it. You do, because we, we did Atkins years ago. We, we've done this song and dance. And we did, it worked. We lost some weight on it. But you end up, there comes a point where, for us, we had to go off of it. Now, some people literally change their whole life, and they've been on it for years and years and years. So, people do it. I there are what, success stories. I didn't look what flavor this is or hear what flavor this is. It tastes like a spice in there, like a oh. cinnamon or a, there's some kind of, what is it? It's cherry. No, that's, that's not cherry. <laughs> now see, I think it does taste like it cherry. It tastes like a cinnamon or, now that you say cherry, I can say, okay, that's, I can identify cherry out of that, mm -hmm. but maybe it's the black cherry part of it. There's mm -hmm. something like got a spice in there or something. I don't like it either. I actually like that one. My teeth are literally dry and sticking to my mouth. It's sticking to my lips. Um, it's so dry on my mouth. I really, I like, it's called black cherry. It just tastes like cherry to me. I actually think that one's really nice. Just like the vanilla. Like I could eat the vanilla. I could eat the black cherry too. I like it. Should I not tell you? Uh, you probably know what this is. Yeah. You remember. The comment under the video. Kevin looked miserable the entire time. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten that before. <laughs> Kevin was not having fun during that review. But after the first three, I literally, I, I mean, literally my mouth is so dry. Ooh, this is coconut and boy, does it smell good. I like coconut. I like that one. I was afraid. I was afraid that it was going to be like suntan lotion, but honestly, it's not. It's I, not I really do like That's that. That's actually one. about the only one I would eat out of. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my order because I think I'm gonna put the coconut second and then put the black cherry third because I really do like that coconut. It's nice. I could have that. <laughs> Swallow. Kevin's gonna get a drink after this. Definitely. This is the mango. So you really like that. I don't know really like it. But I mean, you would eat I would eat that one. Okay. okay. But it's still not like a like a coconut you're used to. It's, it's still different. For a that, yogurt, these are okay. I mean, I won't say yogurt. For a dairy dessert. I was going to say, um, don't say that because somebody will complain. They're not yogurts. Or at least they don't say they're yogurts. Um, they, they remind you of a yogurt uh, because they do have kind of that sour flavor. They're very drying to your mouth. Uh, they're very thick. Um, I do like that part of it, but boy, they dry in your mouth. It must be bad. Huh. That tastes like funky peach. Mango usually does taste like funky peach. That would hurt. <laughs> Ooh, aftertaste. Ah. I know. It hurts. Feels like I licked a ball of a shoe. My mouth is offended. Really, that um, no. we've had some really good mango. Ooh, we've had bad mango. And it, yeah, it keeps coming. Mm -hmm. It's like I've chewed on a burned up cigarette or something. <laughs> oh my god! Just a burned up cigarette. That's like the ultimate you know, like dig. The I've cigarette never... butt from the ashtray. I mean, oh, it's literally god. like, ugh, that aftertaste is awful. Oh, that's hilarious. Go back to the vanilla. Yeah, let me try that vanilla again too. I'm trying that, not to eat too much of it because it's so high in calories. I still think that tastes like milk and magnesium. I like it. It's okay. Yeah, I personally wouldn't really like buy any one. of these again. But and that's why Scott recommended that one. <laughs> that one. He didn't mention, Tammy, buy one of each. Yeah, but to you, review it, you but, have to be fair and try all of yeah, them. Yeah, as you can. You know what? Even though some of these were horrible, Most of these. I still enjoy getting a trial. Oh, yeah. And I'm still sticking with my same assessment. Vanilla. Vanilla's going to be my number Coconut. one. Coconut's number two. Black cherry's number three. <sighs> the mango one, I would throw in the garbage. Yeah, the blueberry. Pretty bad. My gosh, I don't. Not know. as bad as the mango. But it's <laughs> I don't bad. know who would find that acceptable, unless, unless it's somebody who hasn't had fresh fruit in a long time, and you're desperate. That's the only way that would be acceptable to you, because it's not. There's nothing good about that blueberry or the mango. Mm. 
Not, yeah, I, the only one I would actually eat is the coconut. I could make myself eat the vanilla, but I wouldn't touch the rest of them. Yeah. Now, it's, it's funny, when you think about taste testers, you know these companies have had taste testers. The taste testers got this and said, what do you think about this one? And they taste it and go, hmm, that's an excellent mango. But if they're getting <laughs> people that are desperate. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I can't even, even desperate people would think a mango was bad. Yeah, it's really, really bad. Now, like I said, we found these at Meyer. We had looked at our Walmart and didn't we any. didn't see them. No. But you know what? We've seen this in cereal. Yeah. Ratio, well, I think ratio we, cereal. We've, re we've probably reviewed the cereal. Uh, we've, re not. we've done something from this brand. I don't know. I know we've, we've probably seen, reviewed the cereal. I've seen at least two flavors of like cereal. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah. Whatever we've reviewed will be it because I don't want to <laughs> spend any more money on yeah. it. Uh, but uh, just know if you are keto, if you are keto, three of these are, are really good and, and really, really. Uh, I don't say really good. Well, they're, they're I edible. think I think they're worth for a keto food. Um, I, I think they're worth getting. Uh, the other ones are just they're just not. And and I think if you're if you're gonna do keto, buy something great. Be as happy as you possibly can. I do think that vanilla would make you happy. I think the coconut would make you happy. The black cherry would make you happy. The other ones are not going to make you happy. They're not going to bring you happiness. So I would avoid those. Um, you're just going to be wasting money. And the moisture slowly coming back to my mouth. Yes, yes. You can smile again. Slowly. Smile. Um, but Scott, thank you very much for telling me about them. Mm -hmm. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone else enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.